Okay, let's do our warm-ups and see <clears throat> what happens after that. If my voice works. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch out in mountain pose. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Just gently lift the fingers, press them to the floor, lift your heart, stretch your head back. Spread out your toes, lift the heart. Pivot at your hips, exhale over, hands up, head down. Spread your toes out. And just take a moment and breathe. Bend your knees, lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, wind your way to the top of the spine, and drop your shoulders, lift your heart, and stretch your head back in a little back bend. Take a moment and breathe as you stretch your head away. And on an inhalation, come upright, release. Take a moment breathing and feeling that sensation along your spine as that energy warms you. And again, inhale, arms to shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, shoulders still down, clasp your hands behind you, opposite finger outside, so shift from one position over, stretch into another back bend, lifting your heart. And again, exhale over, hands up, <clears throat> bring your head towards your legs, maybe a little more, Feel that back of your body stretch a little further. And then bending your knees just gently, work your way again from the bottom of the spine all the way up and stretch your head back. Shoulders down, spread your toes and stretch your spine. Inhale up, release your arms. Take a moment, just focus inward on that yoga perspective and get ready to stretch your sides. So arms out, shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, pass them, clasp them, and bring them back by your ears. Shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist, sitting bones down, crown high, get a good stretch. Keep everything facing the front and lean to one side. Stretch out through your fingers and head as you push the foot you're leaning away from down to the rib opening action. And then inhale upright, switch the other arm to the front. <clears throat> and again, arms back by your ears and stretch, stay everything facing forward as you lean to the other side. Push the foot down and the hands away. Pull the shoulder blades bow toward your waist. Keep breathing. And on an inhalation, come up and release. Roll those shoulders a couple of times back and down. And then we'll get our spine separating for our twist. So base the skull, base the spine, stretch apart. Bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Bring your arms next to your ears, Sitting bones and crown, reach apart and turn to your twist. Take a breath and exhale over. <clears throat> Sitting bones lift. Take a moment and breathe. And on an inhalation, work your way up in the twist. Lift your chest and pull your elbows back and shoulders down and get into and that upper body for your back bend. Stretch out through the spine. And on an inhalation, come up. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms. Spread your toes, stretch your spine, and twist to the other side. Take another breath and pivot over as you exhale. Deepen as much as you'd like on this side. Take a breath. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And inhaling, work your way back up. And again, upper body from your back bend, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back, and shoulder blades toward your waist. Lift your heart, stretch your side. On an inhalation, come up, exhale right into the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, right above your shoulders. 
Arms out, spine guide at shoulder level, pivoting at your hips. Stretch it out halfway down, and then just drop into ragdoll. Bring with those arms toward the floor. Lift your spinning bones as so much as feels good for the legs. You can pull in more if you want with your hands behind your calves. And then release your arms back to the center, bend your knees slightly. And again, from the bottom of the spine, look all the way up and into mountain pose. Just take a moment feeling your spine a little bit more stimulated after working it in its six directions. And let's take a moment to um, angle the toes out. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees, we'll do our pelvic tilts. So put your sitting bones back and your chest forward, nice little back bend, keeping the shoulders right above the toes. No pressure in your hands, just positioning. And then round forward, ribs coming back, sitting bones tucking down and forward, chin slightly in, pull back of the body, stretching in that C-shaped forward bend. Inhale, backward bend. Exhale, forward bend. Really get that pelvis moving. Heart opening as you come into the forward position. And really pulling those ribs back, exhaling fully in the back, in the forward bend. So just a few times at your own pace, working one way and then the other, getting that spine really moving, feeling that whole pelvis getting a little more warmed up. And then the next time you're forward, let us round back all the way up and into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe and step to the end of your mat. Feet hip with the heart still, sitting bones down, hands to prayer, and shoulders relaxing. Look at your hands, bringing them toward the ceiling. Come into a nice back bend, following those thumbs with your gaze as you lift your heart, stretch your hands, keep stretching your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart, and pivot over and drag down. Hands up under your knees, on your shins, everything straight. Stretch and straighten elbows, knees, and spine. And then bend your knees, hands under your shoulders, fingertips down, or Use a block to raise the floor if you need to. We're going to step the right foot back. Big step into lunge position. Front knee over the ankle. Right in line with the second toe. Don't push forward. Push the heel back behind you. Get that hip flexor on the right leg, stretching a little bit. And then bring that above the kneecap to the floor or pad under the kneecap and bring that knee down. So it's sliding back. Get that hip flexor stretching a little bit more. Good stretch right on that front of that thigh area, hip area. And then bring one hand and the other to the front knee and the top of your head up, shoulders down, and chest slightly forward. Feel you know, that stretch, maybe lengthen a little bit more. And then hands back down under your shoulders, tuck your toes, slide back onto the ball of your toes, Heel pushing back and feel that good stretch along that whole front of your thigh. And then step forward into ragdoll, releasing that stretch, giving it a little bit of relief. Hands together, inhale and to your heart and go ahead all the way to the ceiling and into your back bend and just turning around, you know. Take a moment there, lifting your heart, looking at your thumbs, stretching the whole front of your body. Exhale, hands to your heart, and then on over, drop into ragdoll. Again, slide up into that halfway up stretch with your hands right under your knees, on your shins. No pressure, just positioning elbows, knees, and spine straight and stretching. Shoulders down, bend your knees, hands under your shoulders, and the left foot back into your lunge position. Again, front knee right above your ankle. So don't let it walk out to the side or in, but straight toward that second toe. And remember, not beyond. Stretch back through the heel. Feel that hip flexor starting to stretch. 
bring your knee down right above the kneecap or pad under it if you need to. Slide those toes for that extra stretch. Feel your body just positioning, relaxing into it. And again, hands to the front knee for that extra sink through the hips into that stretch a little bit more right there along the front of that hip joint. Take a moment and breathe. Chest slightly forward and relaxing the shoulders down. And bringing your hands back to the floor under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, come onto the ball of your foot, base of the toe area, push back through the heel. Feel that hip flexor stretch a little bit more. And then push forward and relax it in right go. Hands together, inhale, and again, coming all the way up or the ceiling with those hands, shoulders and shoulder blades down as you lift your heart, another little back bend, feel that front of your body stretch. Exhale, hands to your heart, and back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment feeling the difference between the front of your legs and how they were before, a little tiny maybe. And again, hands to your heart, Inhale, hands toward the ceiling, and another nice back bend. Feel those hip flexors stretch as we go into the back bend. Exhale, pivot on over as you come into the head. Slide the hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten halfway up. And your knees transition to the floor into our child pose. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up. Forehead toward the floor and feel those hip flexors totally release. Take a few breaths and chin out. And then sit up on your heels and slide up into staff position. Feet extended in front of you, sitting bones behind, and press out through your heels. Core activated for support, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. And just stretch up through the whole spine. We're going to warm up the outside of the hip now. So bring one foot to your inner thigh and let the knee come down toward the floor. Keep pressing out through the heel on that front leg and the toes and knee up toward the ceiling. If this is tight today, bring that leg slightly over to the side and give a little bit more hip release. You can also remember pad under you. You can add the weight, but not pressure with your hands, just letting that knee come a little further toward the floor if it wants to, but don't force it. Just relax, relax muscles, stretch more easily. And then bringing your foot and knee into your hands or wrapping your arms around and pulling it in for a little more intensity. Move back and forth, side to side, to get that hip rotator warming up. So just focus there on the side of your hip. Let it relax, let it warm. If it's feeling like it wants a little more, higher or closer with that leg, it'll make it more intense. Don't go there if you don't need it. And then release that leg. Take a yoga moment to feel the difference on the two sides. So yeah, we need to balance and work that up. So go ahead and bring it up, sitting bones behind you, knee and toes up on that front leg, and this knee coming down toward the floor. Bring the leg over to the side for that extra release if you want it, or just breathe and let your hands give a little extra weight, but don't push. Just allow things to relax and move a little deeper if they want to. It's always personal practice. Just let your body go where it needs to go. Take a breath. Just relaxing any tension. Press out through that front heel. Don't forget, keep the knee and toes up. And then bring the ankle and knee into your hands or wrapping around to pull it in closer. Move back and forth. Get that hip rotator working a little bit more. Take a breath or two, just relax. If you want more, remember you can go more intensely. 
that always just do what's right for your body because that's what makes it most effective for you. Never overdo. Release your foot, feel the difference, and bring shoulders back and down. Then we're going to come up onto hands and knees into table position only briefly, don't worry. So wrist elbows and shoulders lined up. You can circle those wrists anytime you need to. Knees right under your hips, feet straight back. Bring those ribs up, support your spine, chest down slightly towards your thumbs. Get that spine stretching apart. Sitting bones and crown away from each other. We're going to go into pigeon. So bring your left or right knee forward rather and slide the left leg back. Feel that hip flexor getting that good stretch we practiced earlier. Take your right knee way over to the right side of your mat and pull the heel up as far as perpendicular with your shin to your body, but it doesn't have to go that far if it doesn't go. Just go as far as your body wants. And staying under the shoulders with the chest forward and crown high, shoulder blades down, and just sink the hips evenly toward the floor. If that's feeling a little more intense than you like, you can slide your hands forward and come down on your forearms with the elbows under your shoulders. Chest still forward, crown high, hip bones evenly sinking toward the floor. So get everything in that pelvis area aligned and straight and just let that relax. So the left leg hip flexor is stretching and the right leg hip rotator is working. So just be gentle and relax, doing what's right for your body. Take a moment, just breathing. Thinking those hips. If you're still on your forearms, bring the hands back under your shoulders. And again, keep that nice back bend going as you sink those hips evenly, chest forward and crown high. Press gently into your hands, bring the right knee back and the left knee up, coming back into table position. As you're there, just let everything readjust into your position, getting ready to go. Pigeon to the other side. So taking your left knee between your thumbs, slide the right leg back, getting that hip rotator hip flexor working. Hip rotator working as you bring the left knee over toward the side of the mat or beyond, and work this heel up as far as it wants to go into that forward position. Hip bones sinking down, chest forward and shoulder blades down around toward the ceiling. Sink there and let those hips get a little bit more work. Staying there if you like it intense or sliding those forearms forward if you want it a little gentler today. Get those hip bones as even as you can and let them sink toward the floor. Staying on your forearms or coming back with those hands under your shoulders. Either way works. Chest forward, shoulders down, whichever position you're in, crown toward the seal. Stretch the neck, relax the hips, just let them sink toward the floor as far as they want to go, coming into your pigeon. Deep breaths, shoulders relaxing, just letting those hips sink further and further toward the floor when they want to. If your forearms are still down, go ahead and bring those hands back under your shoulders, Get that chest nice and open, a little rounding through the back, chest stretching and spine lengthening. Keep breathing. And when you're ready to release, bring your left knee back and your right knee up, coming into table position. Ribs are still up, supporting that spine. Go ahead and circle those hips, getting a little release, still circling one way and then the other. Take a breath. A little pelvic tilt as you're there. And then sit back on your heels and bring the legs out in front. To the end of the mat into static position. Press out through your heels with the toes up with that hip flexor area that you've been stretching release. And as you exhale, we're going to slowly use the core for support to roll all the way to the floor. As you get down on the mat, 
Just take a moment of refined integration, bring your toes toward each other, your hands slightly away from your hips, palms up, coming into corpse position, just relax. Everything releasing any tension there in the hips or wherever you may have felt it. Now we're going to do a little pelvic warm up again. So sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, bring your heels back toward your sitting bones, and knees straight up. So remember a little rolling at the top of the thighs to make sure you're keeping things aligned, not letting those legs flop apart, but also don't let them crunching together. So knees straight up, heels near your hips, sitting bones down toward the heels, and bring that whole back of your body onto the floor. And then as you inhale, lift your ribs and slide the sitting bones back toward you so you get a space under your lower back. So a little strengthener for the back and a little breathing into that core as you exhale and pull it down. Inhale, lift. So you're sliding the sitting bones back toward you as you arch up. And you're sliding the sitting bones away as you pull that whole core area down toward the floor on the exhalations. So as much or as little as you want, with the back strength and a little toning for your abs as well. Take a moment and just breathe into it. And then come back to a neutral spine. Then I'll lift the right leg and put the ankle near the left knee. Take your right hand on your right knee and just press it gently away. So again, we're working that hip area just a little bit more. So if that's enough for you, you can stay there. If you want a little bit more intensity, take your left hand either behind the thigh or around the calf shin and press that right arm just gently into the knee, pushing it away as you pull in with your left hand on the shin or the thigh. Take a breath and just maximize or minimize, remember, whatever your body needs. This is supposed to be good for sciatica as well as just working those hips just gently. Take a breath, maximize or minimize, do what's right for your body. If you've got your left foot up, bring it back down to the floor, releasing that hand. Release your right hand, lift your right leg, straighten it out, and bring that foot back right near your sitting bones onto the floor. As you get back down, notice the difference in the two legs. So yeah, we gotta balance it. Sitting bones toward your heel, back pressing down with the left leg, and put the ankle near the right knee. Left hand on the knee, press it away. You can stay there, or again, you can lift the foot, put your right hand behind the thigh or around the cat shin on that leg. Pressing just gently into the left knee, keeping it moving away and pulling in with the right leg. Take a breath, exhale. You don't need your hands, you don't need to have them, but it just gives you a little bit more awareness of where your feet and hands and arms and legs are going. So go ahead, keep those shoulders relaxed, keep that right leg pulling in and the left knee pushing out wherever you are. And as you exhale, bring the foot to the floor, hands to the mat, Relax those shoulders down, stretch the left foot up, and bend the knee, heel in right next to your hips. Shoulders down, bring your arms out to T position, palms up. Slide those legs out. Sitting bones toward your heels, bring the right leg up toward the ceiling, flex the foot, and we're gonna roll to the left side. Foot down on the floor, roll all the way onto the side, keep your head down, hold your foot, or leg with your left hand, bring the right arm up above your shoulder, palm open. Watch it as you lower that hand or at its shoulder level behind you. So the more the hand goes to the floor, the more your middle back gets into that twist. 
The more you look at that hand, the more your neck is in the twist. And the more you hold your foot and push it away from you, that right foot, the more your lower back gets in that twist. So be gentle. Just relax into it as much as your body needs. Exhale. And let things release even further. So if your hand isn't on the floor, don't worry. Gravity will bring it when it's ready. Take a breath. Just allow the twist. And letting go of your leg or foot, roll onto your back. Flex the heel. Use your core for support. Lower that leg to the floor. When it gets there, just totally relax. Shoulders release in. Feel the difference on the two sides, so you know, we need to balance it. Sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down, and left leg coming up. As it gets all the way up, straighten it as much as you can, pushing out through the heel with the toes coming back toward you. And we're going to roll this time to the right side. So all the way onto the right hip, head on the floor, hold your foot if you can, or your leg with your right hand. Left hand up toward the ceiling, look at it, lower it right at it, shoulder level, not down toward your foot or up toward your head, but straight back, letting that heart get a good opening stretch across the shoulders. And turning toward that arm, looking back and getting that neck into the twist as much as you want or need. And pushing the foot away with the hand on it or on your leg. Just get that lower back in the twist again for whatever amount is right for you. Take a breath. Exhale all that stress, letting the ligaments release maybe a little further. If your hand is still in the air, it'll come down with gravity when it's ready. Just let it happen. Never force a twist or anything else. Take a breath. Relax into it when you're ready to release. Let go of your foot. Roll out to your back. Flex the heel. Use your core for support as you lower the leg to the floor. When it gets there, just totally relax, coming into corpse position for the final relaxation of our day. Shoulders down, hands palms up. Bring your toes slightly together and then let them relax. Feel those hips. Exhale, just release and relax through that whole pelvic area. Lots of work there today. The hip flexors and the hip rotators. Just breathe and release. Deep breaths, letting your body soften. Move your jaw around. The face relax. Allow the shoulders to sink and the whole body to grow heavy. And just allow your body to just sink into that earth support and let it go. As you breathe, just allow everything to soften and sink. Exhaling any tension. And as your body relaxes, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. As those thoughts are released, other thoughts will come to you. Just let them go as well. No need to pay attention to the content of those thoughts. Just let the past drift away. Forget about the future. Just let any thoughts drift without awareness. And allow your attention to release both your body and your mind. Allow that attention to focus inward. Find the peace within. Breathe deep. Exhale fully. Fill yourself with that peace. Filling your body. Filling your mind. And just take a few moments being peace.
And of course, if you have more time to relax today, take all the time you have. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. And stretch more fully and breathe more deeply. And when you're ready for that yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels, your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate some yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet on the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.